Good afternoon, Robert Scribbler. It is August 22nd, 2018. Thank you for joining me for another climate change and clean energy video blog. Now for this segment, I'm going to talk about another environmentally boneheaded policy that has been promoted by the Trump administration. This one involving a rollback of Obama's clean power plan. And it's yet one more terrible environmental climate and energy policy that if implemented would have long-ranging effects, uh, long-ranging negative impacts as well. So just to, to sum up, so far the Trump presidency has tried to roll back fuel economy standards that were increased by Obama. It has attempted to remove the United States from the Paris Climate Agreement and obligations under the Paris Climate Agreement to rapidly reduce carbon emissions. It has attacked clean air and clean water standards. And now it is trying to roll back the clean power plan. In addition to other numerous negative impacts, these are our major issues. It's worth noting that Obama advanced a number of pro-climate change response policies, and, and most of these policies are now under attack or facing rollback in a number of fashions. So looking specifically at the clean power plan, we have a number of very negative responses from clean energy leaders. This one from Jerry Brown noting that this is a declaration of war against America and all of humanity, it will not stand. Truth and common sense will triumph over Trump's insanity. So looking at the clean power plan, it promoted a more rapid transition to renewable energy and aimed at reducing carbon emissions by 32% 30 below 2005 levels and would cut carbon emissions by 870 million short tons or, or nearly a billion tons, which is roughly the equivalent of removing 166 million cars from the road. The clean power plant itself would have prevented up to 3,600 premature deaths and reduced asthma attacks by up to 90,000 for children, ultimately resulting in 1.4 million fewer days when people must limit activities. So the net effects of the clean power plan are very positive overall. It's worth noting that 14 states have filed statements in support of the Clean Power Plan and statements opposing Trump's attempted rollback of the Clean Power Plan. And as we noted before, the Clean Power Plan would have accelerated the already building momentum for the clean energy transition. It's worth noting that this policy by Trump appears to be yet one more attempt to defend dirty energy sources that are increasingly uneconomical. Coal plants now are less and less competitive with sources like wind and solar as wind and solar costs continue to fall, despite the fact that Trump applied tariffs to solar imports, for example, solar energy costs continue to fall. And since 2010, there have been 200 closures of coal plants, primarily due to the fact that they're becoming non-competitive. Now, it's unlikely that Trump's actions will bring coal back, but what they will do if they succeed in implementing this a watered down version of the clean power plan is is result in longer time frames uh, for emission emitting activities in the US result in more carbon emissions resulting in more pollution 
and ultimately resulting in more severe climate change related impacts. So overall, a very bad idea by the Trump administration, which is resulting in a, a wide ranging call of opposition to yet another bad headed anti-environmental policy by the Trump administration seeking to prop up failing fossil fuel industries. So just an overview of the present action and noting an overall trend by the Trump administration to attack positive climate policies and clean energy policies that are helpful to practically everyone in the United States. So thank you for joining me and I'll be chatting with you soon.